So it's gonna go right here. Is it wide enough? I hope so. I've planned for it to go there for a while. So it's 44 inches. Okay, it should fit. Let's buy one the way a pioneer would have, back when this house was new. Back in the day, one ounce of gold could buy you a brand new cook stove. We paid the same, one gold coin for this one. And that may seem like a crazy trade, but to find what we've been looking for, an early 1900s cook stove in our remote part of Montana, well, we were willing to get creative. A friend of a friend found this stove for us. Months ago, we started putting out the word that we were on the hunt for an old cook stove. It had to be cast iron and wood burning. Thanks to friends and family, we found the perfect range. It is now in the ranch shop, ready to get a full restoration. Sometimes it's just, I'm just wondering, like, around each one of these rivets, how you... I These old cook stoves are made of cast iron, raw steel, and nickel plated details. Cast iron rusts very easily, and nickel is one of the softest, most delicate metals. That's a combination that makes us nervous when cleaning this old range. It's too easy to scratch or strip nickel plating. So overall, even though this stove showed up covered in dirt and grease and soot, it's in really good shape. It hasn't rusted through anywhere. You can see even in the oven, there's no spots where water has leaked into it or rust has started to develop. Overall, we're pretty lucky. It's a small miracle to find a stove like this in such good a shape. We found this stove from a family here in town who used it in their home for generations. Arnie remembers his grandmother and then his mother cooking on this stove. And when those generations passed away, the house this stove was in was eventually torn down. But the stove itself survived. They saved it, kept it dry and safe, and we were lucky to find it. It's pretty special. So I learned this trick on YouTube from the dyslexic genius for how to clean nickel. And since all these parts are nickel plated, this is kind of a cool trick. You spray the Windex on, and then you take this four aught steel wool and you buff the surface. And this gets off any grease, any imperfections, anything small. And once you've wiped it all off, you're left with the perfect luster on the nickel plated surfaces. It's pretty cool.
All of this advice and research we did sounded great, until we realized just how thick the grease and soot was on this stove. Some spots of grease and grime were an eighth of an inch thick. That's when being delicate went out the window. We realized that this isn't the best practice, but frankly, work had to get done. So we got out the harsh degreasers. Look at the grease running. Is that crazy? There's any nickel left. This is a gross thing. This is gross. It got a lot of that rust. As far as scratching the nickel, it's like, I don't care anymore. I just want the grease gone. It's gonna be a brush nickel finish. Troubles, once you start something, you have to continue with it, it'll always just be a spot for you. You need one clean spot. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know if this was actually grease or rust or what was coming off of. I hate to load up the, yeah. the grinding wheel. Mm. See the trouble is if you get grease on it, on that wheel, then if you use it in the future, you should put grease on. Since we've already had kids, I don't have to worry about birth defects. Well, I guess that's You're supposed good. to. Good. I mean, that's just night and day as far as the grease. Yeah. How do you use this foaming stuff, Jess? I don't know what we're gonna do with this stuff. We'll just leave it. The back half? This, there used to be a water tank here when they bought it. So it would 
pump your hot water through it, but that's long gone. I don't think we can buy spare parts for it anymore. Ultimately, this stove is never going to look brand new, and we don't want that. We want to see its age, its stories, and for it to be a reminder of what a beautiful piece of history it is. When the 1889 project is finished, and the homestead cabin we are renovating is complete, this cook stove will have pride of place in it. Get matches. Well, don't light it on fire yet. I'm still putting the candle. Okay. okay. We're making pancakes. to keep the fire going. If that catches on fire then, and I come back, I, I'm going to be super mad. <laughs> okay. So watch it and don't get distracted. Nothing like 
Getting this stove back into shape was no small feat. But that's only the beginning. Uncle Dan's needs way more than just a place to cook. Next time we'll take on a new challenge and build a chair pretty close to how they would have done in the old days. This project is about telling the whole story. 